Hey everyone, it's Jason Kelly here and well this is my first challenge video that I've actually done using my new camera setup. I have my 4K camera with the uh, new actual microphone. I used to have a stereo microphone, it's now a directional one, so it's shotgun, so it should actually help isolate external sounds in the background. So hopefully you can hear me clearly. Now this challenge is to do with coffee, hence the coffee challenge. Otherwise I might call it the 10 times for stretto challenge, but I don't know if it quite has the same ring to it. Well, here's it is. This is the coffee that I'm going to consume. I'm going to uh, consume the entirety of it all, and they're going to be extracted via an espresso coffee machine, right? Um, <laughs> and this is this is the strongest you can get, right? It's Audi's own brand. Uh, I hate to have to waste coffee, so I'm going to drink it all in one go. Now we're going to see what all that caffeine does to me, and whether I can even stomach it all. Mistretta is like a very concentrated form of a shot of coffee, right? It's the most concentrated form you can have. Um, any Italian will tell you so. And also, I should note, is I read a case once actually, not too long ago actually, in Nottingham, where the students were actually measuring out a certain amount of caffeine to go with their experiment, and they they got the conversions wrong, so they're off by about a factor of a hundred or a thousand, something like that and they were basically hospitalised and needed medical treatment or maybe death would have ensued. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay, so here's the Nespresso machine. Now this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to do a quick demonstration. So just so you know that this box, by the way, has not been opened, so I've not swapped them with decaf or duds or anything like that. I'm going to open it in front of you like this. And well, there they are. And I'm going to just well, I'm going to put them here out on the thing here, here there. And uh, actually I'll put them there. That's all right. So I'm going to put them in one by one. I'm going to first do a demonstration. Now this I've just run through a quick rinse cycle, so it's going to have be nice and clean. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to show you one that I do. Now, by the way, I'll come out with some stress, but I like to continue it on a bit so that I actually get more coffee out for later. So I'm going to show you how I do that, and this is how I do it. So it'll come on like it is, and once it starts to stop, this uh, here is selected on the ristretto setting there, um, and you should start to see the coffee come out. Right, like that. And then what I'll have to do is, as that coffee's coming out, it'll start to stop, and I press it again, and then I capture the, the, more of the coffee here. You have to do that to capture it, right? And once it starts to go, once that starts to go yellow, you then turn it off, right? Turn that off. And I can then put that into this cup. God. This cup here for later. And now I'm going to do that another 10 times. I just hope that the cup that I'm using is big enough. So um, I'll show you it doing that now. Um, You can tell out of the two cups which one's more concentrated just by the colour already.
jamming a bit. That means it's jamming, I can't even source it now, just down um, here a minute. It was just jamming a bit, I think I managed to get to wait in order, so uh, I'll try another one. Oh no, it's just jamming away. Um, hang on. I'm tiring the machine out with all this coffee in one go, I never expected such a job. I hope Nespresso doesn't see this and I might void my warranty. <laughs> Okay, well that is done. Okay everyone, it's Jason, I'm back in the studio, back in 4K, and I've brought with me just my recently brewed, amazing, 10 times over, Ristretto Café. And I, oh god, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like. And just to make this challenge even worse than it has to be, it's 10 o'clock at night, so I might have to also do some follow-up vlogs and how I'm getting, you know, on with sleep. Uh, this is just going to keep me up on it. Now, I mean, it does look really, really deep and dark and intense. Um, oof, it can even stink strong. Uh, and I've got the overcup there, actually, just in case I'm feeling even more ambitious by the time I'm through with this, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to just start now and we'll just see how, how it goes. So my challenge really is just to down this cup during this video. So here we go. to another level. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, it hits your feet. Put off the way. Um. Oh, Jesus. Lord above, how it feels in the throat is just absolutely real. I, I, okay, I do not recommend this challenge, by the way. Oh god, this could probably kill me. Yeah, I don't think there'll be enough caffeine in here to hospitalise me. There might be enough to keep me up all night, but oh god, it's so strong. Woo! That is, that is the most unbelievably strong coffee you'll ever come across in your entire life. I mean that. Now maybe it'll go down easier with a bit of this. This is 85% cocoa uh, dark chocolate that I got from Aldi. It's very, very intense. Now when I eat dark chocolate, I like to dip it into my coffee and so this may help break it up a bit. Mm. Yep. It actually infuses the chocolate with some coffee notes and I think like, um, Oh my god, it makes the coffee taste like that sort of coffee that is um, that is sort of adorned with a bit of cocoa, you know? Whoa! I don't know what this is going to do to me. Just see how much time's left on this video. Um, three minutes in, that's not bad. Only three minutes in. Okay, dip it into a bit more coffee, give it a quick stir. This is literally how I do. I just think it's the best way you can actually have your coffee, actually. It's true. Mm. I hope you can see me, my reaction, because that's the point of my bloody video. I mean, it'd be very annoying if I did this and it didn't get caught on video. Mm. Do you know, if this was just one of those, you know, shots of coffee, I could enjoy it, but this much is so... It, it seems to just intensify at every sip. 
Who ever talked about the law of diminishing margins? I don't know. Mm. A bit more dark chocolate may help. I mean, you can see me. So, yeah, when, when, when you're on this, search YouTube. See if anyone's done this before, because I'm not even going to look, because it might dispute me if this wasn't my idea, you know? If I didn't independently think of a challenge like this, you know? Mm. I can feel my heart. My heart, it's starting to go to my heart. I, guess I feel my heart rate racing at the moment. I think the caffeine is already kicking in. Mm. Oh God, has anyone ever drunk black coffee? Whose idea was it to drink coffee without milk? This is so bad for me because I really like lattes. You know, the big milky lattes with, you know, syrups in them. I'm almost done. I've almost completed the challenge. <gasps> Woo! 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 The final sip really does go down in a particularly frantic uh, fashion. Now, as you know, I've got more. Let me just see if I've got enough time on this video. Because it's in 4K, I can only, like, uh, still got it like that. Because it's in 4K, I can only go for so long with the video. I'm already, you know, caffeine's a diuretic, so I'm already wanting to pee myself. As you know, this one's not as strong, but it is more bitter. See, with, with coffee, when you brew it, the longer you brew it, as you try to over-extract coffee, you end up with the, the sort of um, the dregs out of the, the coffee beans, and you get this sort of bitterness to it. Yeah, it's just the most embittered flavour you may have ever tasted in your life. Seriously. Now this wasn't actually part of the challenge, so I should get extra credit for actually drinking this one as well. Hmm, I am, I am, you know, apart from, you know, I know I've mentioned my heart rate, you know, being a bit more going up, but I'm, I'm really starting to feel other effects. It's now actually tampering with my neurological faculties. I can actually feel my muscles twitching, um, tightening. Mm. They are really, really sudden, you know, twitch. I should probably, after drinking this, go and run a bit to try and burn off the excess. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I was just thinking, you could just think that this is Coca-Cola, you know? Because, you know, with the intermittents bef before extracting it, I might have just replaced it with Coca-Cola, but it's not, right? And even if it were Coca-Cola, there's caffeine in Coca-Cola, you know? Yeah. Hmm. But it is coffee. I can tell it's coffee because... Well, I actually extracted it from the coffee machine. Okay, so unfortunately the video just cut off. I don't know why, maybe phone couldn't handle all that 4K nonsense. <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed the video. At least I did manage to get to showcase me actually drinking the original coffee and the entirety of that. Now, if you do like my challenges, uh, give more suggestions. And you can always do it on Patreon and that will help spare my confidence to make it even more wacky and crazy and whatever challenges you might like. And if not that, then you can subscribe to my channel. And that will always be a confidence boost now, won't it? Okay, uh, share, like, subscribe, comment, suggest, whatever. And that's me, Jason Kelly. Do hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.